Hi guys, it's Grant from Ink and Leathers, and today I've got another episode of 30 Before 30 for you. So today's 30 Before 30 topic is, you should have settled upon your signature style. Straight off the bat, I'm calling bunk on this one. I think it's a load of garbage. Style is something that evolves as we grow up, and what you like now, you probably wouldn't have liked 10 years ago, and what you liked 10 years ago, you certainly won't like in 20 years' time. Style is something that should evolve, otherwise it stagnates. So today I'm going to talk about things that I have liked in the past, how I like them now, and how I think that I'll like them in the future. This is a really simple pair from ASOS, they're just a dark denim which is coated in a kind of, almost I'd say a wax. Uh, these are fantastic, they're very straight legged, which 10 years ago I never would have worn. I, when I was 19 I liked baggy kind of skater jeans, which I don't, I would never wear now. But these are a much tighter fit even than I would have worn five years ago. Uh, these are a very straight leg I wore as I used to prefer boot cut jeans. So these are a huge evolution for me personally. This is another pair, this is a G-Star um, Arc 3D, so they've got the bow cut legs and these were a big step for me in my personal style because they are a very unique shape to the way that they're designed and I would not have worn this in the past. Going toward forwards in the future, I can see myself buying more things like this which are really engineered for my body shape and not stuff that's just necessarily off the rack. Uh, there's a local tailor here who've talked about doing tailored denim. That's, I think, the future of denim and for me personally, buying something that's going to fit me really well appeals to me much more as I get older than something that's just off the rack and will sit weird in different places. This is one of my more lamentable purchases. It is a knockoff Alexander McQueen skull print scarf. I have had this for years and I think I paid $10, maybe $15 for it in Chinatown in Sydney. The fabric it is made out of is so flammable, it's not even funny. There is absolutely nothing natural to this fabric. I, knowing more about the industry now and how bad knockoffs really are for the people that make them, would not buy this again, but at the time I thought I was so cool with my skull scarf. This is a Louis Vuitton bag, I think. I bought it off a seller here in Canberra who said that it was an authentic bag. Looking at it now and that I've learned a lot more about the label, I believe this is actually a fake. So I tend not to use it anymore, but this was my kind of gateway piece into buying designer bags. And while I regret the fact that it is not authentic, I do believe that buying fakes when you think you're getting the real thing is an important lesson that anyone who cares about their clothes needs to learn. This is a prime example. This is a tailored navy wool blazer that I purchased from a travelling tailor who comes to Canberra sometimes. Uh, there's nothing particularly wrong with it, it's just a boxy cut and it doesn't really flatter me particularly well. It looks okay on, but it's not something that I really love. And I actually spent quite a lot of money on this one and I regret it to this day. Conversely, when you form a relationship with designers and tailors, you tend to learn more about them, and when you get to know them, you know the scope of their business. This is a different blazer by a local label, Brad and & Taylors, and this was such a collaborative piece to make, and it was such a great experience that it completely overshadows that one, and it was actually cheaper in the long run than that, the first tailored piece that I ever bought myself. This one, the amount of work that went into that, the craftsmanship, trumps that a thousand to one. So I do definitely disagree with this week's topic. I don't think that your style should be set by the time you turn 30. If ever, I think it's something that should continue to grow and evolve with you as you age, because otherwise you tend to stagnate. I think that we learn about style as we age, and that that is really, really important. 
So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. That would mean a lot to me. Please comment in the section below if you agree with me, if you disagree with me, and how you think your own personal style has changed as you've neared or passed 30. That would also be really interesting to me to hear. Uh, you can check out my blog and Instagram, both of which are linked in the information box down below. Until next week, bye.